Guys, here we are, MMA UK News, Stoomboy, as always, the MMA UK BJJ show. So, talking about Grapple Fest 14, Grapple Fest 14, going to be at the usual place, Fusion Nightclub, Fleet Street in Liverpool. Now, it's going to be Saturday, 3rd of December now. Again, I keep talking about the atmosphere. I mean, there's nothing like a Grapple Fest night. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, the atmosphere is absolutely electric. The spectators absolutely love what they're watching. The grapplers love coming out and putting on a show as well. So uh, the grapplers definitely get into the atmosphere, which is absolutely brilliant to see. Um, and it just makes for an all-round brilliant night. As in, uh, I don't think I've ever seen or been at a grapple fest where it's been a boring night. <laughs> so it's always, always entertaining. And the people love it. That's why they keep coming back, keep coming back. So now... Ticket availability, anybody looking for tickets, definitely hit up your chosen grappler first of all. I'd say some grapplers uh, might have some tickets left. Um, if you can't get any tickets from your chosen grappler, then hit up the Instagram or Facebook page for Grapple Fest, and you will get them directly through there. And there's also pay-per-view, as there always is. Pay-per-view is always on Fight TV. So, um, again, amazing um, stuff that Fight TV put out. So make sure you do hit them up um, and get that pay-per-view if you can't make the night. Uh, so my next guest is going to be on the show that night. So Mark Clark, uh, Warwolf BJJ. Now, Clark without the E, all right? So, because I know that they, they got your Mark name. With the C. Mark with a C as well, don't forget yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, Mark with a C yeah. as well. So obviously they... they, they they didn't spell his name properly on the, the I know, poster. mate. I know. Savage. <laughs> savage. It's just it's just one of those things, man. Curse for life. Curse for life. Listen, that's happened. I'm sure that's not the first time it's happened. And no, it, definitely it, not, mate. Definitely, definitely not. won't be the last time. Mark definitely with not. K, Clark with e, you know, it's just like, <laughs> yeah, well, just take on the um, but yeah, Mark with a C and Clark without the E. So so Mark's an awesome grappler, as he's been around for a while. Um and Always see Mark putting in great performances. I'd say uh, very, very technical. I'd say uh, he's got a lot of knowledge when it comes to grappling, obviously through MMA and through obviously jujitsu alike. Uh, so a lot of knowledge coming from Mark, which makes for a very, very interesting match whenever he's on the mat. So, so Mark, that's an absolute pleasure as always, buddy. Appreciate that introduction, mate. <laughs> Don't pick me up too much, man. You know. <laughs> Oh, nerves listen, I do. I love watching you. I mean, as you know, nerves are settling in now, man. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I mean, I think it's more. I think it's more excitement than anything else. Like, you know, yeah. Yeah. how many how many opportunities do you get to go on to Grapple Fest? Yes, few and far between. You know, so yeah, I'm I'm buzzing for it, man. I'm really yeah, buzzing for it. It's definitely. I mean, I, I keep saying this, and I'm, a lot of people agree with me. I mean, Grapple Fest is definitely probably the top show in Europe. Um, Everybody wants to be on it. I mean, you're talking about people from as far as Australia uh, all the way through to the States. Everybody wants to be on it in between that. So, um, and it's fast becoming probably one of the top grappling shows in the world. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's definitely, it's definitely getting up there. It's, it's I'd say, easy in top five. You know, it's, yeah. uh, you've had actually pretty much all the world's best grapplers on there now, you know, um, bar a few, but. Yeah. I'm sure it won't be a matter of time before they'll be on the cards as well. But honestly, like, yeah, um, not not too clued up on my opponent, though. I mean, I must admit, I've, there's a few, you know, shady errors there. I've, I've heard some good things about him, but yeah, don't know too much about him. I try not to research my opponents too much. Like, you know, I know as we get higher up in the game and we start looking at these uh, bigger sub-only events, analysing your opponent becomes a little bit more of a... A tactic rather than uh you know oh what's good at what's he not good at oh can i find any holes in this game you know um i do like to just go in and see how the match will unfold almost you know and try and create a little bit of excitement in there especially considering i've only got 10 minutes to do it so yeah there's only so yeah. much excitement you can pull up on 10 minutes so yeah. yeah that's one thing i mean i remember speaking to you at grapple kings eight um yeah. Just before that, and uh, I remember we were talking about that that time, and again, you don't really, yeah, you worry about the opponent, but you're not really too focused because obviously you've got your own game that you want to. Because uh, obviously, if we if we play into our opponent's game, the chances are we're going to get beat. So, um, but yeah, I mean, you you never really worry too much about the opponent at all. No, no, no not at all, not to. I mean, I was a bit guided about Grapple King, uh, Grapple King's eight because obviously I didn't end up competing. One of my my uh, 
uh, fellow colleague and coach end up taking my place because I actually had to pull out due to a meniscus injury. But yeah, I mean, I was so excited for that fight. Unreal, it was unreal. Like you know, Tom it was a phenomenal grappler, and you know, I felt, I felt like you know, top, uh, Ben who took over for me gave up you know ten kilos to take my place. So. Yeah. It would have been nice for see how I would have got on with someone similar sort of size, you know. But yeah, let's let's see what happens on this fight. I think. Yeah, yeah. Grapple face, grapple face, always a brilliant night. So, um, and the card. I mean, I mean, you've seen the card. I mean, the prelims right through the the, the main oh, event. I mean, it's oh, an yeah. unbelievable card. Yeah, I've seen a lot of faces on there. That I know. Um, Obviously, through Mats in the Mountains, a few of the old coaches are on there, which is great. So, going to be a lot of friendly faces dotting around, a few unfamiliar ones that I, I don't really know much about. Um, so, it'd be great to actually catch up with them and see what they're about and, you yeah. know, see if I can make some new friends in the process. <laughs> Listen, we always do. We always do. As I said, uh, but you're in the back, obviously, everybody's in the back at the same time and they're all yeah, yeah, rolling yeah. on the mats and stuff like that. So, well, I've seen, um, I've seen they, uh, they've, they've invested in the club a little bit. They've uh, put the walls in for the uh, changing rooms and stuff like that and right. shower and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's pretty banging. Yeah, I think Tomo uh, put something up the other day and it's pretty sick. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah, good. Yeah. Um, so that's good because as I said, everybody's in there, females, males, they're all in there together. Yeah, yeah. Um, and as I said, the, the backstage is like a fucking party. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, everybody's just enjoying themselves in the back. And you, when you go into the back, you don't realize you, listen, you guys are away to go and out there and fight in about an hour's time. And yet they're chatting away amongst each other. And as I said, it's, yeah, it's just good it's fun in the back. That's so. it, mate. That's what it's all about. That's what it's yeah. all about. Good vibes. That's fine. Yeah, Enjoy definitely it. different from a an MMA event. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's obviously the guys in the back are ready to kill each other. Do you know exactly. I mean? so, Don't like getting yeah. punched in the face anymore. I've, I've had enough of that. You know, <laughs> twist me up all you want, but not 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 the face. Okay. <laughs> Modeling career right here. Man, you're too pretty. You're too pretty <laughs> to get punched in the face, buddy. Far too pretty. So, uh, what about grapple fish? So, how how did you? What were you doing at the time when you got the call up? So. Um, um, Oh man, I was at work. Yeah. I was at work. I got the I got the message through Instagram um, asking me about a matchup, and I honestly I just sort of stopped and my heart sunk, and I was a bit like, oh, I've got a match. Yeah. I've got a match. It's like in the like I was going to say regardless of who they threw up in front of me, you know, I was going to say yeah, hundred percent. Um, no, no doubt about it, you know. So it's uh, and then after that, it's kind of been a planned sort of process from get finding out all the way up until this point yeah. and the main focus has been not to get injured yeah <laughs> don't get injured because if i have to pull out because of an injury it's not, the, the opportunity to be gone i can i, I can guarantee yeah. it you know like you know chances of me getting back on graph fest would be very slim and you know maybe as a last minute step in or something but no i think that's been since since getting the call out and you know my plan of attack since then has just been you know slow progress making sure yeah. I'm, I'm training right you know get my body in the right place uh mainly especially after my injury with before grapple kings so yeah yeah it was a, it was definitely a, a surreal moment to be fair like you know yeah. to get that get the message and just say you know we've got this opponent do you want to do you want to fight him i was like yeah 100 percent. didn't even know who he was didn't 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 even register the name to be honest. I was like, oh, I suppose I better give him a quick Google and see what he's about and yeah. see if I can find anything out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's all right. Good, 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 good opponent. I mean, very, very evenly matched up between the two of you. So I think so, yeah. Yeah. I think I think that's the exciting thing about it. You know, I think we're gonna marry up quite nicely. Um yeah. it's gonna be interesting to see what unfolds on the night. Um as you said, I don't really want to give too much away, but I'm definitely looking for some um, stuff I've been recently working on. It's been working really well for me. Um, and yeah. some sort of, without giving too much away, sort of Marcelo Garcia style kind of um, nice. guards. Um, maybe a bit of Ash Williams in there as well, to be fair. Like, you know, so I've, I've taken a few things that they both do really well and gone, okay, I see what they're doing there. And I'll, I'm trying to take it. And actually, something, um, something really new, which. I've been experimenting on for the last sort of two, two and a half months, maybe, yeah. and getting some success of it. 
if I can get myself in the right position, I, I'll, yeah. I'll get it. <laughs> I'll get it pretty much every time. But you know, up until that point, it's 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 all a gamble. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing uh, yeah. But a mad scientist sometimes would see when we sit there and think, right, I'm going to work on this one thing and I'm going to pull this off. It's like mad science sometimes just oh, putting it all together. Yeah. So. Just waiting for two things to collide and go, hang on, can I think, can I link those two things together? And, you know, I, I, and I have been and I've been working it quite well into my game. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's more buzzing to see what you're gonna what you're gonna do, what's gonna happen. Yeah, uh, definitely it. December the third. Um you mentioned oh. about obviously injuries. I mean, obviously the older we get, I mean, yeah, we have to slow down. I'd say that it's obviously a different. I mean, you training ten years ago uh, is gonna be very different then than it is now. Uh, I mean, what adjustments would you say that you make to prevent uh can any injuries from happening? I mean, injuries are gonna happen, it's unfortunately yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I mean affect what we do. I think I think from MMA, from where I used to wrestle quite a lot, and I used to like that pressure style of grappling, like you know, get get them on the back, don't let them, don't let them take you over. If you do go over, get straight back up on top. You know, that's still that's still there, but it's not my main game anymore. You know, it's it's kind of um, taking a back step. I feel like to prevent my game a little bit more, uh, to prevent the injuries and stuff, I'm playing a little bit more guard and developing yeah. a, a better guard game because. You know how many i mean you see it now in a lot of mma fights where they're all rolling for leg locks and you know they're, they're all rolling for you know guillotines and stuff um obviously trained with jack eglin he recently got um submitted with with a guillotine so it's it's all i think the mma game with regards to grappling is is evolving slightly um with the submissions so but you don't see too many MMA fighters fighting off their back and going for different submissions like that, you know, unless they're a jiu-jitsu specialist. So it's, um, I've definitely, definitely taken to being a bit more of a sort of ground, ground game now and submission transitions and stuff. So yeah, it's, which has been working out for me. The only time I, I can feel the injury come back is when I start to wrestle back up, you know, I'm like, Oh, I've got a wrestling opportunity here. So like, I might have an underhook or something. I'll come up. I'll come up on this and I'll, I'll start wrestling. And then all of a sudden I feel the twinge. I'm like, oh, no, yeah. sit back on your ass, Mark. You know, but uh, so, yeah, it's, it's still there. The wrestling side of things is still there. I'm still going to put on a clinic when it comes to the stand up game as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see what kind of. I think that's 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 how I've been going about the injury free type of stuff, you know, playing more off the. Off the, off the bottom than yeah. on top yeah one interesting thing i mean it was a fact i seen i think it was a couple of days ago ash williams i mean obviously we know we know how good ash williams is and the, the levels he's got to so yeah. far um and he said when he trains he even when he's rolling he only rolls about 30 percent yeah um, yeah oh yeah yeah i've not i've not been going 100 percent. i think last yeah. night might have been i think last night i i rolled relatively harder because uh, jack was in the room with me and you know i thought right it'd be rude not to get a few rounds in with jack and yeah you know put some effort into it and i had a few other uh bigger flexible guys in there that have really good guard games and stuff so i've yeah. got I, put, I turned up a notch or two um last night but it wasn't anywhere near 100 percent what i'm capable of and i think yeah. that that style of um sparring that ash williams does and you know i don't know if you know much about his um some of his technical roles he does as well which is really really interesting the way that they have like a start and a finish position you basically got to try and figure out how to get between between the two positions yeah, yeah. so like you might start off in a leg lock and then you got to transition to the back to a back take or something right, and right. You, you figure out the best way that you're going to work to get to that position so you know that's it's, it's a really really interesting way of um doing it and it's kind of how we start been starting our role our um our warm-ups now mm -hmm. it's doing that sort of style of um training and everyone seems to be reaping the benefits of it you know yeah, so, yeah. yeah. i never thought of doing it like that obviously putting yourself in a position and then getting mm -hmm. to another position you know yeah. I mean? so because obviously any gym you go you know yourself i mean if it's rolling then it's just straight into killing each other <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, we go 20 percent, bro 20%. yeah it's like you've seen the pictures like let's floral and then five minutes later everybody's covered in blood and, yeah, yeah, you know exactly, I mean? and exactly. on the line on the mat just sweating everywhere and yeah. so 
Um, let's, let's not forget as well, we are talking about Ash Williams. I mean, how many yeah. people does he really need to go over 30% with? You yeah. Know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I saw he was away. He was away winning more medals there. Uh, yeah, the yeah, day, Europeans so. and stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so day, he's, uh, he's doing brilliant, so it's going to Cracking. be a good 2023 yeah. Uh, next year for Ash Williams uh, and the rest of the team drag the rest of the team drag as oh, well so. yeah but yeah they're just going to smash it yeah yeah, yeah well they have been for so long already so yeah yeah what about you then what's next for you obviously Grapple Fest main focus wow. what would you like to see yourself doing 2023 I would do it but <laughs> it's not capable I'm not, I'm not capable of that anymore so um, yeah I think I think you know AJP is still one of my prime prime goals to get number one on that. Um, yeah, to be number one in AJP, um, I would love the opportunity for a lot more submission only shows. So if anybody's watching this and want me on their card, please get in touch with me. I'm happy to step in. You know, any sort of level. So yeah, let me know. Um, obviously, we've got Mats in the mountains. A few more of those coming through. So I've got two, three drafted in the diary and um, yeah. the first one being sort of march time so just currently looking for a venue which seems to be impossible in the uh the mountain ranges yeah. but um other than that man i mean it'd be nice to perhaps maybe finally get my gold medal in the british because i've you know i've got like five or six silver medals from the british and it's just like <laughs> Forever the bridesmaid, never the bride, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah. Um yeah, so that might be a goal. Um, but I would also like to go over to Europeans and stuff and start competing in, in the bigger shows abroad. Um yeah, and maybe even go through the British ADCC if it's running next year at the yeah. Arnie convention. So yeah, I wouldn't mind giving that a shot as well. So because it's like next year is my last year at Masters One. So I want to try and keep Try and try and do as well as I can at that from my last year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the thing is with the European comps. I mean, I be JGF. I mean, I went to Paris. Um, obviously, the Euros in January, and mm. it's uh, thirty-five dollars for the membership and one hundred and sixty-five dollars to enter. So you're talking about two hundred dollars in the pounds, not doing <laughs> too well against the dollar. No, man. I know, mate. Right, I know. Uh, and, and on that note, if anyone wants to sponsor me, you know, they want to pay my flights, my, my entry fees, yeah, come at me, man. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's definitely it's definitely expensive. As I say, it's, it's, it's an expensive business. But oh, I mean, on the other hand, I mean, you you go out there and become a European champion or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's definitely something to add to the the resume, and it's definitely something to experience. I feel. Yeah, like yeah. you know, after after I did AGP that last year, I kind of went, oh well. So this is this is what it's like to compete at this level, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, speaking with my coach Jimmy, and he, he's he's always saying to me like, you know, yeah, there's nothing like it, you know, when you when you're at one of the IBGGF big competitions, it's yeah. it's it's shit art, you know, like it's it's yeah. not not much else it compares to it. So yeah, yeah, it should be it should be fun, man. I'll be doing gi and no gi as well, so. Listen, do you know what you'd love? The World Masters. I mean, see if you ever get the chance to head out to Vegas. I mean, I went out 2015. I went out um, and it was just, again, just an unbelievable... I know the new venue from, from where it originally was. Um, yeah. But the new venue is absolutely awesome. Do you know what I mean? Hey, so, it's definitely on the bucket list. Yeah. I mean, I, have to, I guess I'll have to get the old 2023 diary out and start planning and penciling these events in. Um, yeah. Plus, it's for all us old guys. For us all, all us old guys. I mean, you go in there, it's just a room stinking of deep heat everywhere. And uh, just uh, guys with finger tape all over the place. The whole body's taped up. So, um, just a bunch of mummies walking around. <laughs> so, but it's honestly, it's, it's an awesome, awesome place. Awesome venue. Awesome event. So, um, always recommend anybody, any us older guys, male or female, I'll, I'll look at it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm down, man. I, I'm always, I'm always up for doing stuff like that. But it's just, you know, again, cash flow and time and yeah. stuff like that to get. Good. Oh yeah, it's expensive. I've got to find, convince the missus to go on a Vegas trip to Vegas, family trip to <laughs> Vegas now. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
listen, maybe, maybe this year, maybe 2023. So <laughs> we'll definitely see. It'd be good to see you out there. As I said, I know that you'd go out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That's the level. That's the level. I mean, I'd say, that, especially in the Masters divisions, I mean, that's where we want to be. Um, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. So, and then final thing for you then, Mark. So again, you've been in the game what seems like forever um so you've been around for a, quite a while um obviously over the years you've had you've trained with some amazing people um but anybody you want to shout out to any friends family members teammates anything like that uh, fucking hell man um obviously my team and you know my fellow coach ben like about those guys i wouldn't be able to do what i'm doing at the moment um you know got to obviously shout out the missus for letting me go off on these jollies and leaving her with the kids and that. Um, and yeah, pretty much anyone for the support, to be honest, has been pretty overwhelming. Um, back quite a lot of like messages and stuff saying, you know, smash it, hope everything's going well, especially from all the War Wolf guys. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'm appreciative of any support anyone throws my way. So thank you to everyone. Definitely. You're about to say thank you to Messis as well. I have, I have. She, she, she's over there. She's, she's, she's listening. She's listening. Yeah. <laughs> and then just a quick comment coming in. Just a uh, Jamie Meekin just saying, "Us, Daddy Mark." <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, that's my son. That that is. Yeah, uh, he's, he's, what is, I can't remember what he is. I think he's like a flyweight or something. And then we went to we went to the British one one year, and um, he basically just he looked like my son. And he actually turned around to someone and told him that, oh, yeah, that's my dad. And he believed it. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Do I look that old already? Oh, that's brilliant. That's some of the fun that we have on the road. Do you know what I mean? So we do have a lot of fun. I mean, that's oh, it. We could, we could sit there and some of the stories, some of the things that happened or things that have been said on the road is just, do you know what I mean? Some of the too best. Many. Yeah. Too many, yeah. Too many. Far too, too many. many. But Too some many, of the yeah. best laughs we've probably ever had. So, and then Jamie just coming in with uh, a couple of <laughs> laughing faces emoji. Obviously, he's uh... <laughs> yeah, I knew he'd drop it. he had to draw me in, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, there we go, guys. We're going to have Mark Clark, Warwolf BJJ, is going to be heading over to Grapple Fest 14. That's going to be Saturday, 3rd of December. Uh-huh. Going to be at Fusion Nightclub, Fleet Street in Liverpool. So, again, ticket details, make sure you hit up your chosen grapplers, first of all. Um, and if they don't have any, then make sure you head over to the Grapple Fest, either Facebook or Instagram. You will get them directly through there. Pay-per-views on this as well. So pay-per-views through Fight TV. Now, a couple of different payment options. If you want to just go for the standalone pay-per-view, it's $14.99. Um, but the best, probably most cost-efficient, is to go for the monthly option. It's $4.99. And that'll give you not just this Grapple Fest, but every other Grapple Fest, Grapple Kings, as well as other uh, grappling shows as well. So uh, this is one you don't want to miss. It's the last Grapple Fest show of the year. Um, It's an absolute cracking, cracking card. There's going to be some fireworks coming out of Fusion Nightclub on the 3rd of December. So, so Mark, listen, absolute pleasure, buddy. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Appreciate you having me on again. Yep. Uh, that's a big shout out to, to Mark's missus as well. Thanks very much for letting him on. Uh, so we, we steal him for 20 odd minutes. Uh, so <laughs> thank you very much. And guys, keep an eye out, Mark in the Mountains. Um, as he definitely keep an eye out on that. Yeah, so yeah. obviously, announcements will come up, I'm sure, early will, next yeah. year. Uh, fingers crossed to get a, a venue. Venues are always awesome at Mark oh, in the Mountains. I, so. I'm gonna, oh, yeah, well, I don't mind. I'll, I'll uh, we'll have to have a chat and I'll see if we can sort one out. Um, once I get something booked up in there, the yeah, again, March time, roughly, hopefully have something out the end of this month for people to start getting excited about. Yeah, so definitely look out Mark in the Mountains, follow them on Facebook. They're on Facebook. Uh, so definitely hit them up. But Mark, thank you again, brother. Um, Appreciate I'll it, mate. see you on the third of December, mate. All right. Yes, you will, mate. Yes, you will. Take it Take easy, it easy. Mate. Nice Bye bye.